Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about something that really is hard for me to talk about, and that's grief and loss as an artist. I thought I would open up and talk a little bit about my experience and how I coped with losing a loved one, and most importantly, how I coped with getting back to creating and making art again. I want to express that you can get through this and it will take time. I would like for you to know some of the things that I have done to move forward and let go. So sunsets had really helped me realize and remind myself how to move forward. It really brings us into a new day and releases all the memories that we cannot hold on to. And it just forces us to let us let, let us let go in a natural way. So the beauty of the sunset really reminds me that we just need to live in the present moment in a new day and know that a new day is to come with a fresh new start to every new day. There's so much beauty in nature, we just need to open our eyes and really train our eyes to look at, look with intention to see the good in everything we see and try to see the beauty of the simplicity of what life brings us. I went for a walk and it was really pretty walk. I just tried to focus my attention on the present moment there. Was most There was the most beautiful waterfall and I just stopped to look at the waterfall. It reminded myself that it is important to keep going with the power of persistence, just like the waterfall pouring itself out down into the stream. The stream reminds me a lot about life and how under the surface of the stream there may be a lot going on and the currents are just going fast under the surface but on the surface of the water it looks calm and peaceful. Same with our life. When we look at other people's lives and we look at the way they live and how they have everything put together underneath the surface they might not have everything put together and things might not be must be or might be more chaotic than they seem but sometimes you just have to go with the flow of the current instead of try to swim against it there was a few books that my boyfriend bought me as a gift for my birthday and I look at them for inspiration they bring me so much joy for new painting ideas one of my favorite artists is Claude Monet his work is one of my favorite artists and I get so much inspiration for new pieces of artwork. I fell in love with having it. And I feel with, when you're having a bad day and you just feel stuck, the best thing is to go into your room and try to read some poetry. Just read it and see if it provokes any feelings in the present moment. Another thing that you can do is go back to older pieces of work and look how far you've come and what really you have achieved with gratitude with the accomplishments you have so far. Look at, looking at your artwork and how you transitioned and involved over time. Then there is the art that you had done that you feel that you do not want to show and you feel that there's so much anger towards it because it didn't turn out the way you expected it to. But try to look at what you can do for the next time. That will help you push forward and feel not as much stuck. Look at all your mistakes as lessons in itself. If the journey, specifically it's a journey. All art is just a journey and a process that really matters the most. The process is what took you the time and the effort to put your thoughts and feelings and hopes down and at least you tried. You might not want to show some of your artwork to the world and you might not feel motivated but try to snap a photo of your piece that you don't like that much and put it on Instagram and you'll be surprised how much reactions you get compared to what you think and how much negativity you have towards it. Someone might actually see the beauty in what you don't see. Flowers bring me joy. Good energy that usually is what I like to paint is flowers because they bring me happiness and they allow the happiness to flow. Try new things like painting with a palette knife. Do something new and see how you progress. Look at the progress of the drawing of the sunflower and look at how it's changed over the time. 
but I've painted it. I had this idea I wanted to make patterns for fabric and I uploaded them with a company called Spoonflower. And then the fabric is made and I put it into clothing and I make clothing originally from my artwork. That's what's currently exciting me is making my own patterns for fabric. If I were to recommend you two books, it would be two of these books. The reasons why I, I recommend them is because these two b- books bring me so much joy. The one book brings out the science of how to be creative again and not feel stuck and it really teaches you how to bring ki- creativity when you feel like you are lost in it all. The other book is more like a book how to train your mind to be positive and cultivate the right mindset, attitude towards your life and the truth and purpose. I really recommend these books because it's helped me grow through the creative new ways for painting and a new good energy. Going for a walk in nature sometimes I do on a regular basis is what helps me unwind and let go. Sometimes when I have to find time for myself, I really want to just be by myself in solitude. Even if it's for a couple hours or less a day, it can help me connect with my inner self and be more kind to myself. Having a bath and lighting a candle, dimming the lights and just enjoying the warmth of of the water on my body while I just lay there and soak for a few hours. The heat from the water can bring my heart rate down and once I've had a bath and had a bath for a bit of time, I feel that I'm more connected to my thoughts and I'm calmed down and it was really helpful. It's important for you to remember that we need to do these small things that help us bring us into a better mindset, like daily affirmations. These are key to help your self-esteem and confidence. This is what you deserve and these are what really helped me. I have have affirmation decks and they've helped me change my attitude for different ways to think and different ways of seeing things. Another key to life is to smile. Even you might be sad and you don't want to smile, a smile can help you change the way you see life. One of the biggest things I've done is making an Etsy and selling my art online and selling my paintings from around the world. Like selling them to Ireland, England, or Australia. When you make a to-do list, you might not get everything down and you just just understand that you have your whole life ahead of you. Take it step by step. Having positive reminders or drinking a warm cup of tea or having a nice breakfast is really a great reminder to just slow down and relax. These are little tips that I've done to help move on and move past the grief and losing of losing my grandma. I hope that this video has some true value to those that are watching and I know that you can get through this and that we are all in this together. Thank you grandma for being there. I hope you rest well in heaven. Bye guys.